Hi there. Today we'll discuss about some mistakes that Linux beginners make while switching to Linux. If you're thinking about switching to Linux, then watch this video till the end so you can avoid these common mistakes and switch more easily. Linux is not Windows or Mac, it's very different. As soon as you start Linux and explore, you will realize it. All drivers are built into the kernel, so you do not need to install drivers separately, except for some NVIDIA proprietary drivers, but for some distros like Manjaro or Pop! OS, NVIDIA proprietary drivers comes pre-installed as well. The file system is also different in Linux. Linux uses mainly EXT4 and BTRFS, but in Windows you'll mainly see NTFS and FAT32. Linux can read FAT32 and NTFS also, but Windows cannot read EXT4 or BTRFS, at least not by default. There will be no C drive or D drive in Linux, as you can see in the screen, this is the root folder structure in Linux. In Linux, you can use App Center to install softwares as you would do in your smartphone. Also, you can use commands to install multiple softwares at once with one single command. You do not need to go to website by website to download the executables and agree to a ton of license just to install a software as you do in Windows. You do not need any antivirus software in Linux. Linux is a very secure operating system. Linux doesn't need to defragment hard drives. Its file system is also superior to Windows. Linux will not force you to update. Update your system only if you want and when you want. Some people have confusion about backslash and front slashes. Windows thinks backwards, so it uses backward slash in file navigation. But Linux and the whole World Wide Web thinks forward, that's why they use forward slash. That's how I remember this. Desktop environments and distros are not the same. You can make a distro look like any other distro you like. For instance, Ubuntu is a distro and KDE is a desktop environment. Ubuntu comes with a modified version of GNOME, so if you want to change GNOME to KDE, you can. If you want Linux Mint Cinnamon to look like Ubuntu, you can install GNOME Desktop on it. Distros doesn't matter. You can customize everything from top to bottom. People often installs Linux directly on their system and later regrets it. Linux comes with a live system option, so instead of directly replacing your current operating system, try it on a virtual machine or just boot up the ISO and try the live system and explore. You need to be familiarized with the system. Try different desktop environments and see what suits you best. Try different distros and see which one you like. Linux has flavors like ice cream. Everyone has different taste. Linux is a different operating system. Some applications will not be available in Linux like Adobe applications, Microsoft Office, AutoCAD, etc. But their open source free alternatives are available in Linux. Click on the link in the i button above to know what alternative apps you can use in Linux. Although you can play many Windows games on Linux through Wine, or you can run some softwares as well. Wine is a compatibility layer for running Windows application on Linux. If it doesn't run on Wine, use a virtual machine to install Windows and then you can run your apps. Dual Boot is also an option for new users. The possibilities are endless. New users tend to copy commands from the internet and run with pseudo permissions without verifying the command and break their system. Make sure the command is for your distro because some commands are distro specific and also distro version specific. Also verify what the command does before running it. If you're not sure, run it on a virtual machine first. As you gain experience with Linux, you'll get to know what commands not to run, but it will take time. New Linux users give up too soon when something doesn't work for them. If something doesn't work or something you don't like, try other things. If you don't like the look of a distro, try another desktop environment, try another distro for a change, install new themes. New icon packs, experiment with the system. 
Linux won't stop you from shooting your own foot. You'll learn new things. You'll learn what works and what doesn't. The truth is, you'll gain more knowledge about the system if you use Linux than using a Mac or Windows. Please give a like, share this video, and subscribe to this channel if you like this content. That's it for today. And as always, stay strong.